I, what I like to do is I like to just, you know, tone it down and be regular. I mean, people feel that black has become really cliche now to me. I feel black will never die. Yes, I grew up in the Bronx, New York. And to my parents, even though we were in an urban environment, we weren't raised as urban, you know, kids. We didn't do things that the urban kids did. But I can say that they did keep us inside for certain things because where I used to live was a very rough neighborhood. One of those environments that, you know, if you were a West Indian, you don't hang out with the Hispanics. And if you were Hispanic, you don't hang out with the Italians. Everybody, you know, stay to their self. So it's almost like I would call a, um, a how do you say, a uh, atmosphere full of beef. But albinism is a skin disorder. It's almost like vitiligo, but vitiligo is something that starts on patches. It's almost like having vitiligo, which is a skin disorder that kind of eats away at pigment. Um, but it's kind of being born fully. What it usually comes from is, you know, both parents have the genetic trait of albinism. Yeah. It, and basically, albinism, it means that you don't have no pigment. Feedback, positive and negative. I mean, from, oh my God, he's so beautiful, to, oh my God, I don't think this will work, to, oh my God, he's everything, to, he looks like something from the Matrix. I mean, I've had it all. It's all been there. It's all been said and done. I feel like it's all about you and what you wear. I mean, I don't care if you're wearing the same shoes every day. It's you. It's what makes you. It's like, you know, you know, so that's what makes me is I wear a certain kind of sunglasses all the time. Yes, I change them up, but I do like plain black sunglasses. Okay. These the top is by Sally LaPointe. Amazing. She's amazing. She's a very good friend of mine. Oh, well, the pen is by Chris Havana. If you look at it, it says, um, boys don't cry. This jacket, um, obviously this is a jacket. And um, I told my friend, I said, um, we were walking one day and we saw this jacket and it was at uh, yard sales, big jacket. I was like, ew, that jacket is like so ugly. He was like, oh my God, it's so cute. This is when I was like 14, I had the jacket back. And he was like, oh, it's so cute. And I'm like, no, it's not. So you know what he does? He's like, well, I'm getting it. It was like, what, probably like 50 cents for this, the jacket, they were really trying to get away with it. And um, he went home and then he just reconstructed the whole thing. And I said, can I have it? He was like, oh, now you want it. I said, please. I said, I'll give you double what you paid for it. I'll give you like a dollar fifty. And he was like, no, give me 10. And I gave him $10 and uh, a good friend of mine is Ty Hunter. He's um, Beyonce Styles. Um, we had a conversation one time and it was really inspirational. And I mean, I don't want to leave everything else in the conversation, but it was just a really, really fulfilling inspirational conversation it's probably one of the best ones i've probably ever had in a very very long time and it was just you know talking about you know always striving for the best and, you know always keep going and keep trying you know another good time was when i did it magazine that was a good one um, why because it was for it was for michael jackson and they took some of they took his songs and mine was called It Doesn't Matter If You're Black or White and I thought it fit perfectly. Hmm. Um, but it was amazing. You know, so they took obviously I went through, you know, the most craziest things you could ever imagine from getting beat up to just nonsense, always hearing stuff. I mean like even so today, I mean one thing that I can tell people that I'm promised for the rest of my life is that people will always stare at me. So I've walked through the streets, but it's funny because I like built this like wall that it's like, I don't see it. I just don't see people looking at me. And people, I'll be with my friends, and they'll be like, oh my God, did you see that person looked at you? And I'm like, no. You see, Grace Jones was a model no one really liked. Jean Paul was a, an artist. They collided together and made history. So what I'm saying for people to do today is this, don't go just because this person is working for Vogue or this person is working for Elle, that doesn't mean you go with them. Go with who's creative in your time and come up.